Hi folks, pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson here. On this video, I'm gonna show you three super simple techniques to radically improve your soloing. So, my experience of listening to my students soloing is they might know the scales and they're playing the right notes, but somehow it just doesn't sound convincing and as good as a pro. So, I'm gonna show you three super simple devices which is gonna transform how you sound when you're soloing. As usual, if you like the channel, please do subscribe, ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Don't forget to check out the Instagram and there is a free PDF with this video. So go down into the description, get the free PDF, and let's get straight into these techniques about learning how to sound better when you're soloing. I've put together a nice little funky backing track, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna let it run for 15 minutes so you can jam and practice the techniques. We don't want too much to think about when we're doing this exercise, so we're all just gonna use one very simple pentatonic scale. That's concert C minor pentatonic. So for alto, that's gonna be A, C, D, E, and G. Just those notes. And for tenor, it's gonna be D, F, G, A, and C. So for both instruments, this is what the notes are. Now that you've got the notes, and you can use those notes over the whole backing track, over all the chords, let's get to point number one. And the first tip is take the horn out of your mouth and leave more space. What I hear people do the whole time is just noodling and noodling and noodling and noodling, and it takes up all this space and there's no direction to their solo. So rule one, leave space by taking the horn right out your mouth. And here's a quick demonstration of what I mean by point one. Point number two, play something simple and rhythmic, and I'd emphasize rhythmic. You are gonna sound so much better if you play something simple, but bang in time with a fantastic groove. The noodling around the whole time is what's gonna make the solos sound unconvincing. So play something with a lot of conviction, simple, bang in the groove of the tune. And here's a little demonstration of the second tip. And finally, tip number three is to have a chat with yourself musically speaking, that is. So, to sound really good, you can play something and then answer it logically. So, it's gonna make your solo sound really cohesive. So, you're gonna play one thing and then you're gonna answer it. And then you could even play that other thing again and then answer it. That way, you're having a musical conversation with yourself that sounds like you're really developing motifs and it really makes it sound like you know what you're doing. Here's a quick demonstration of having a chat with yourself musically. So a final recap, point number one. Take the horn out of your mouth and leave plenty of space. Let the music breathe. Point number two is to play something very simple and rhythmic with a very strong groove. That's gonna make you sound fantastic. And point three, try and develop motifs that answer each other logically. That's really gonna make it sound like you know what you're doing. So you've been listening to the little funky backing track that I've put together with some nice chords in there to practice on and to demonstrate these points. What I'm gonna do now is, 
I'm going to sign off and then I'm going to let that backing track run for 15 minutes, which is a fabulous resource. Just let the video run and you can practice those three techniques to really start sounding good on your solos. So if you like the video, please do subscribe to the channel. Remember to check out the Instagram and there is a free PDF with the pentatonic scale and those points that I've made in the video down. Just click the link in the description and I look forward to seeing you next time on Get Your Sax Together. Enjoy jamming, here we go. Mm -hmm.